intro. Mike check one two one two. It's Kojak in his bitch. What you gonna do? I'm out here with the boy Dragon. We out here talking noise. How you been, brother? Been all right. Been better, but it hasn't been too crazy. Not too bad. Yeah. That's good. And the last time we talked, we talked about how I'm about to go meet uh, Booker T. Right. And that's next week. So. Damn, that was quick. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll be sure Ooh. to try and get y'all some autographs. No doubt. I am um, in the process of buying a house. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's what I'm doing while I'm doing this. I'm in the middle of a fucking homeowner's class trying to get them to approve this application so I can move. Oh, that's another thing I have to bring up, too. Uh, me and I practically call my brothers because we all went to school together. Mm. Right. Went through the same shit practically, but uh, <clears throat> we're all going to eventually, the three of us are going to get a house in North Carolina around the area I used to live when I grew up there. So we're going to get one out there and then probably you're going to a house or you guys are going to just rent one together, rent one temporarily. And then me and my uh, other brother are going to enlist. So, okay, that works. And then we'll actually buy a house by the time we're on the government payroll. So, right. That's that's all I got going on for me, other than I've been working on stuff for the group. And the film fools. Oh, I mean, I'm actually shooting tomorrow's table read and then shooting Friday. Nice. A short film. Well, it's really like three different fucking short films. Um, it'll be like a little anthology type of deal where we shoot some MCU type shit where there's one episode that just pretty much features this one character, another episode that features just this one character, and then we tell the story. Gotcha. Yep, yep, yep. I've been at Barrage. I'm on vacation. I ain't got to go to work this week. I'm cool with it. Nice. Yeah, no, I only had today and tomorrow off, but that's because they be cutting people's hours, and they've been keeping me on, but even then, the manager that's been running the shifts lately has been doing crap. So they're all like, "Yeah, no, you need to, you need to pick up the pace." I'm like, "Oh, I'm picking up the pace." And then they're like, "Oh, you're in Mexico." Yeah. Didn't y'all just get hit with a fucking storm? Did y'all, did y'all avoid that? Yeah, where I'm at, we we're no, we got a dust storm, and then on my way home one morning from FedEx, freaking someone's house was engulfed in fucking flame, like literally covered. You cannot see it. You can only see the, what was left. So that was fun. That's crazy. And I was going to show you guys that. I, I, it slipped my mind, but now I know. <laughs> Damn. Now, Panda was like, You all right? I'm like, Yeah. And she's like, Yeah, I heard it. Yeah, I was supposed to get a storm down there. I was like, Yeah, I'm fine. So. Hi, man, because we got hit. Out here, you got hit pretty hard out here. I'd imagine it's, I because <clears throat> a uh, panda texted me like not even a few days ago saying that they got absolutely swamped in snow. So, oh, they got hit with the snow. Yep, That's wow. funny. I'm gonna let that shit go. That's the good thing about North Carolina. It doesn't snow at all. Well, that's why I moved to the South, was to get rid of that cold shit. And that cold shit followed me the fuck out here. <laughs> Telling you, man, I get so mad. I'll be out here chilling. And then it'll be like, oh, no, we want to drop the temperature below 10 degrees. Okay, wait a minute. I'm in Georgia. We're not supposed to be doing that shit. What the fuck? Yeah, that's how it goes. The bitches. That's what happened when I uh, moved back to here from Missouri. They're like, it's cold. We blame you. I was like, I, I'm not surprised. 
It'd be like that. I haven't had much in the works other than I've been writing for a couple of like horror, more horror stuff aside from the last one I told you about. So, actually, I'm right. I keep, but there's one thing I'm doing. I can't even fucking talk about it for real. I just signed an NDA. Oh, um, I'm saying I'm going to be doing a table read for some Hollywood execs next week. Nice. And they invited me to um, come and read and possibly steal a role. And it's kind of my habit to do so. Well, I'm rooting for you. Also, you better become John Stewart. <laughs> Brody, if they didn't already have it in the works, I would. <laughs> but I'm not. My name isn't. Nobody knows who the fuck I am yet. It's in the process. Yeah, that's what we're all trying to figure out. <laughs> when they figure out who I am, this is going to be amazing. Yeah. I, I had something else important. Oh yeah, it pertains to one of the things I'm writing for because it's it's small, but it's kind of a simplistic story. But I need like if I ever get it into production, I'm probably gonna need like maybe at best eight handfuls of people. Like Jesus it's Christ. Christ. It's, that's really all I got is that going so. I've been killing me lately, man. Just straight hustling out here, making moves, trying to make things happen the right way. Uh, trying to be a fucking homeowner and not choke out my wife because she's stressing my stupid shit. <laughs> Tell you something, man. People say it is the most stressful process in the world, and it's not. It's really not. It's it's only stressful because you don't you don't do your research before you get into it. Save your money. Is that simple? Save your fucking money. Make sure you get to go, and you'll be fine. But the moment you start doing crazy shit and not saving bread the right way, you're fucking yourself. Yeah, that's what I said. So that's all what me and my brothers are talking about. They're like, what about this? I'm like, I can easily make the amount we need for any of these homes within, like, two months. So, right. so I was like, I'll just save up maybe, like, four months worth of stuff. We look at a house, get it, and then we'll have extra cash for whatever. And then if we need any appliances that need fixing, then we can do that. And then as simple as that, because we all, we have all our own shit to move. Like we have a shit ton of beds and whatnot, so we're chilling on all that. So yeah, it's really mad really, as you're hungry. Yeah, it's it's really all a matter of the money. It's, as long as you're smart. Well, so renting a house is easy, right? But it's hard finding one to rent because like once you so here's the thing: once you start renting, it's hard as fuck to save money because it's so fucking expensive, right? Yeah, but at the same time, like there's a reason people have roommates and things like that for a long time. And they stay with their mama or whatever because, hey, it's just expensive as fuck out here for no reason. I've been living in the same spot for shit. Technically, about how long have I been Five years. I've been in the same spot, and they have done nothing amenity wise or environment wise to improve the environment but every month or every every six months or whatever they find a way to add some bullshit fee like they have a common area fee now so oh. i don't even fucking leave my spot we don't go to the clubhouse the clubhouse is not somewhere you can actually go and enjoy yourself it's just a fucking pool area um that's already included in my shit why are y'all charging me extra for extra shit that you need to take care of you want to build that shit up there we don't even utilize the shit. The people here don't even utilize that shit because we got to work. We live across the street from the school. Why are you charging us more? Because you can't. And we have to pay. We don't have a fucking choice. But by doing so, that extra $200 that we go into the savings is $50. So now my time is like four times as long trying to save the bread because you just want to fuck me over the next day. Yeah. However, People say, oh, just get a better job or whatever. Look, man, I'm going to see people like this. 50 cent, a dollar, two dollars, extra annually adds to a lot of money. But you're not going to see it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Taxes don't eat that. And then when you get to a certain level, um, 
money, like once you cross into a hundred thousand dollars, your whole shit change. Taxes are higher. Um, shit, bro. The amount of money, like you, to make to make a hundred thousand dollars, you need to make a hundred and fifty thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That shit, why? Nope. Me and wife just crossed into a hundred thousand dollars a year, and we're not gonna fuck around and go down. But at the same time, it's nerve wracking as shit because the economy is fucked up. So like, any time we could lose our jobs, it's crazy as hell. Yeah. I just hope the market crash. I need the market to crash. I can finance this house already. <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, anyway, man. So soon got a house last year. I'm getting my shit this year. You getting your shit next year. Hell yeah. Yeah. And when I move, bro, I'm going back to streaming. So I can announce that here and now. Yeah. If everything gets approved, February 1st, I'll be moving into my house. I'll be moving my shit over to the house, right? Mm-hmm. So I move all my shit over to the house. I'm going back to streaming. I'm building a whole office in the garage and everything. <laughs> so I'll be able to start streaming. I'm not playing. You wait. You wait till you see this shit, bro. Like, nah, because now it's mine. This this, this renting shit, this townhouse I live in or whatever, I fucking hate this motherfucker. I do not like the way it's structured. I don't like the way the HVAC system works and that shit. I'm not gonna change it. Yeah. Because that would then give them a reason to charge someone else extra bread for work that I did. No way. Right? Mm-hmm. So when I get my place, I don't already check the HVAC system. We've checked everything already. I'm not, everything is at the final wall for it. Now, now they're they're SOL. I'm gonna make a whole CG for those location. I got I got damn near an acre of space and shit like that. I'm gonna build a sound a little sound stage out back. Yeah. Hell yeah. Nah. It's over with. Yeah. You're starting to sound like me and Panda. That's that's what that was our thinking when uh we're going up to Missouri because we found out our house is like it was hella small, but we had an acre of land. <laughs> yeah. See it. I just took the apples, I didn't know it. Right. <laughs> you mean to tell me I can just have all this shit available when I need it? <laughs> You mean to tell me I can cultivate in my yard and not have to worry about somebody just walking in my house? You mean to tell me there's a way where I could give my kids their own rooms? What? Stop playing me. I'm going to do that. For real. Man, there's nothing better than My son you. took over my stream. Uh, I'm not sure if you saw that stream. I saw. He went live. Bro, that was the craziest shit in the world because I never taught him to do it. And he doesn't know how to, he doesn't have it at home to do. He saw my shit. I showed him how to look at his gameplay on Streamlabs, and my nigga just clicked go live. <laughs> I'm not monitoring him. I'm thinking he's just playing the game or whatever. But I hear him talking shit. And I'm like, yo, who are you talking to? And I'm looking at the screen. I see that shit says live. There's people in the motherfucking thing chatting. And shit. Like, oh, oh, oh. You went live? He's like, yeah, Roman. Bro, you don't understand what you just done. You, you done. All the people who've been waiting for me to go live are going to be watching you now. He said, I know. Okay. Roman, my stream is for adults. We are assholes over here. I need you to know that. So I sat behind him. I let him stream for like four hours. That's pretty weird to do. Yeah. But now I got to start streaming again and shit because he's not going to be out doing me like that. <laughs> Um, there are artists streaming for four hours. I got ADHD out this world. So does he. But my man's was on Fortnite. Fucking them kids. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I to tell you not to be beating up on your friends and shit? He's like, yeah, he's ass or he's booty. Ronan. Why are you so mean? Because dad, he sucks. Like, he's got to be a noob. It's weird to hear kids use their current lingo or the gaming lingo of like the younger generation shit. Cause I'm old as fuck. So when we say someone's trash, we say that bitch is trash. He has a whole different set of fucking words that describe trash. <laughs> so funny. So funny. It's so funny. It's cute, but it's also one of those things where it's like, okay, what have I done? What have I created? Because mind you, my son has never lived with me except for when he was first born. Right? His mom moved to Vegas. So he's never lived with me. And for him to be exactly who I am is insane. Yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, it's really unnecessarily honest. If he don't want to do some shit, he gonna look at you and tell you, "I don't want to." And that's it's just I respect it so much. But yeah, that's uh, I'm gonna choke his ass. <laughs> as far as that goes. Now I'm done with the class. Got a hundred percent. Wish I could be surprised. <laughs> It's pretty cool though. Yeah, no, sorry. My dad just came knocking on my door. He's like, I want this. And I was like, what? He's like, here, take the shit. I was like, oh. <laughs> he just handed me his dinner. I was like, okay. That's a bit. I was like, yeah. I'm going to argue with you. All right. <laughs> Brisket and salad. I'm not complaining. It was like nine o'clock. It's weird because my family's gone. All of them. So, like, I'm by myself in the house, walking around, cleaning and shit. Mm. And I'm just so ready to hear something crack and my daughter is fucking around and she's just not here. <laughs> I mean, I'm two hours behind you because it's seven over here. Yep. 9.03. Oh, so you're... Oh, yeah, Mexico's the center of uh, fucking... South America. I'm stupid. Let me shut the fuck <laughs> um, But, yep. That's where we at right here. I'll I'll be back in the future in God knows how many months because all I am is going to pay off some stuff that my dad's helping me with and then have the money for the house, rent it, and then, yeah. We're looking at ones with, like, at least an acre or so, so that'll also be huge. And it's not bad because some of these are, like, maybe... Like this, anything above six acres is a shit ton of space. Yeah. Yeah, because... I did not really. Yeah. Um, you know, some of the some of the houses we looked at are like barely twelve hundred a month with like a couple of acres, and I was like, hmm, it's not that bad. So, right. yeah, that's that's all I got that was. But yeah, like, uh, but for me in streaming, I just went live the other day. So many people came out the woodwork, like, oh, you actually live? I was like, yeah, the transition to Mexico was a rough one. <laughs> right, like, man, I'll be busy. Okay, I don't have time. I just, um, I'm lucky I get to do this. Half the time, because you know how, how many times you had to freaking cancel because of work and because of whatever's going on and shit. Like, mm -hmm. it's great that we still got this going after a year and change now at this point. And we just, I mean, I don't like people making excuses that we don't make excuses. We just get the job done when we can. Yep. We're not going to be like, well, respect man, that's 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 hustle, man. yeah, that's, that's what I do. Because I was like, once I got this podcast going, I was like, well, this is going to be a commitment. I got to figure out when I want to do it, when I'm able I'm not going to do it on days that we are all screwed so that way it doesn't fall apart, but yeah. I don't plan right. on stopping this. It's just the fact that we've been held back by recording issues for so freaking long. <laughs> yeah, man. And what I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm not sure if you watch Optimus videos or anything like that at all, but um, the way we're going to be able to do this, I'm going to have my gaming up and everything now. Like I have my shit set up now, but I don't have my camera. I don't have anything set up for that at all. It's just my regular uh, PC setup from editing a film. But other than that, I'm shipping, honey. I don't have nothing. Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Sound critical because it is. Same for me. It's fucking me. cat. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm working on some stuff. I don't know what you're carrying on. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm working on some technicalities with this PC of mine because it has like an issue recording my audio, but it records just fine. Like it will record everything. Yeah. But, uh, you yeah, know, I, I will be set with like all sorts of PCs for whatever. And I plan on eventually getting a webcam so that way we can use like a face cam thing for the podcast instead of just them seeing our profile pictures. <laughs> but I mean, eventually they're going to want to see, they're not going to see my ugly ass face anyway. But it's okay. <laughs> they will once you uh, get in the huge into acting. They'll be like, where are you at? <laughs> yeah, and that's when I'm just not telling people where I am. Like, no, 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 no. I can talk shit now. Ain't nobody looking for my stupid ass. But <laughs> I know how this goes. I know how this goes. Yeah. Oh, shit. I just remember. Andre. Bro, you gotta. You were just remember what? Oh my God, I was in the factory the other day, 
and they held us whatever because uh, like i told you this dude that we have that just will run a shift and doesn't know what he's doing right um we had a lot of stuff from the day before because some of the trucks broke down from how cold it got because they're not used to this kind of weather where it gets really cold Damn. so we had to keep on uh like at least a couple two thousand packages and he's like, we're going to unload that at the end. I was like, why not unload it now? And then everything goes smoothly. So this kid, I could you not, he's, a, he's barely a year older than me, but he's a driver. And he, he came back, he came off his route because they're all like, oh, we need more vans that are going out towards the city and near the mountains to come back. So that way uh, they can get some of these packages. This kid decided to come back. So... Big mistake for this kid, because one, the driver supervisor, which they're, they're separate from us because all drivers are contracted. So this kid came back with a driver supervisor there. So he backed up. But we have these like little like yellow concrete cylinders in the middle of the road, like the, where you're supposed to park in the factory. So that way you don't hit any of the technical tools we have trying to like fix your truck. And you also don't run into any parking spaces for the other trucks. This kid came right. back, parked sloppily. Then he tried going forward. So all you hear, the freaking uh, supervisor for the drivers, yelling, stop, like at the top of his lungs, like five times over. And the kid went forward, broke the freaking uh, mirrors on his truck. He's like, you mother. <laughs> He's like losing it at this kid. I was like, damn. <laughs> and all the other employees are like, yeah, that's that kid's second time doing that. I was like, well, that guy's never going to be seen again. <laughs> right. Oh, man. It, yeah, no, it's crazy He's up here. Up, man. Dude, what the homeless be doing? Is crazy? The freaking cartels crazy, bro. It's 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 hell <laughs> for some of the stuff. Have you been offered a job by the cartel yet? No, I avoid them like the plague. They don't they don't talk to you unless you talk to them, unless you have something they want, like freaking like if you have farm animals, like my dad does, and you have eggs and stuff, because I know uh further out from here, one of them employees that I work with doesn't live too far from me. But uh he was telling me how his uh, brother supplies stuff to the cartel because he has a crap ton of farm animals and they need the resources. So he was like, yeah, he was right. Like, fucking with some crazy ass people. Right. I was like, I was like, I'm not messing with him. He's like, you ever been involved? I was like, hell no. <laughs> no, bro. Are you insane? Hell no. I would. No, no, no. no. Unless I can I take the bread or whatever the case may be. But like after that, we good. We don't need it. Mm -mm. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. I'm taking the money, but I'm out. I'm going back to America. <laughs> oh, no, I'll take the bread. I'm out of here. I'm about to buy three houses. <laughs> Never find me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> be like, they'll be like, what's your name? I'm, be, I'm telling them the most fake name ever. Get the hell out of there. Take the money. Buy houses with crap tons of land. Get rich. So that way I never stop losing that money. And then boom. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, there hasn't been too much going on lately. Oh, dude, New Year's. That was when crap got crazy. Because when those fireworks are going off, people are trying to mask the sounds with gunshots. So there was all sorts of houses being broken into. And it was a total of anarchy for six hours. That sounds pretty lit. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, it's bad, but it sounds pretty lit. Like, it would be insane to witness. I'm glad I'm over here. But, you know. <laughs> We we can we can make that into like a film, like a scene in a movie or something. There you go. Make it easily. <laughs> easily. But half my damn life. <laughs> she can't help. But yeah, I don't hate being responsible. Any uh, any word from Sid? Any anything in the works for him? Uh, no, actually. Um, I hit him up the other day. We just kind of talked about the house shit. We haven't really, man. We ain't said on the ground. I ain't really talked to him for. Him. Yeah, that's why I'm kind of crazy, but you know, we be busy. 
Yeah, I feel that. I try I try to keep as much contact with people that I can, especially my friends and family in Missouri. But yeah. a lot of the a lot of the folks that I'm friends with are no, that most of them are in Georgia or are in North Carolina. So I'm not I'm not stressing too much. It's just all a matter of when the American government's like, oh, you're fit to serve now because we think your Adderall's out of your system. So it's like, okay. <laughs> it's so bad. Yeah, I know. I haven't been on Adderall for like almost three years and still they're all like, we're not too sure because we can't do immediate blood tests. So at least wait another year or two. I'm like, damn it. <laughs> you were on fucking Adderall? Yeah, no, for my ADHD meds. And yeah, no, the my uh, mother kept upping my dosage when I was in high school, in middle school. Wow, what the fuck were you doing, man? Bro, because my grades would slip in like one class and it'd be like, we need to increase the dosage. I'm like, no, you don't. And then there would be days of school. I just don't remember. I just remember like being at home and I'll just be like, did I even go to school today? <laughs> like, it's crazy. Yeah, I bet. Like, fucking, bro. No. I'm glad they got you off that shit. Because, yeah. no. Yeah, no, she she was like, you're going to take it. I was like, and I got to the point where I was like, I'm not taking this crap anymore. I don't remember days of the week sometimes. I don't even know what the hell happened half the time. And then most of the time I do take that crap. And by the time I get to a certain class, I'm not even focusing anymore. I'm like out of it. So it's like, why do you want me on this? Because Panda had a different med because she's ADD. But, um... She was like, I want to take some of your Adderall. I'm like, you're Adderall not Adderall really? Yeah, no. She was over here like, I'm going to try to take some of your Adderall. I was like, hell no. And I literally took the entire thing and threw it out. And I was like, you're not taking any of that. <laughs> that crap's terrible. Like, I can't even explain. But yeah, no. They they had me up to like almost over thousand some odd milligrams. I'm like, bro, y'all want me to die off of this. Like, stop prescribing me Adderall. <laughs> Yeah, no. Uh, I'm I'm glad I got off that because people are like, man, that's a hard drug to get off of. Like, I just hated the way it made me feel. Like, it wasn't that hard for me. But I can see why, because that crap, the effects it was having on me, I can see why people t take that for uh, non medical purposes. It's, it's an insane freaking pill. So, especially since it's mostly meth methamphetamines. Yeah. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. See, my mom's worst mistake was ever to let me figure out how to do research. Because my parents are really, you know, they're militant when it <laughs> came to education. So they taught me to do my own research. And when she first told me, oh, they're going to put you on this medication. And I, I just want to do my research on that shit. I don't know. I'm not taking that shit. Christopher, you got to take it because that's what the doctor said. I don't give a fuck what that doctor said. That shit says the number one ingredient says methamphetamine. Mom, do you see that shit? I'm not putting that shit on my body. I'm trying to go to the league. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. No. Nope. Refused. Refused. We're having ADHD myself. And I'm, as an adult, it's still difficult from time to time, but I don't necessarily care anymore. Yeah, no. I, That's how it works. Yeah. Because I can't tell you how shocked I was when a private contractor came to me and be like, hey, I want you to work for a construction company. Because there would be some days where I had to take measurements and I would have to write them down so I didn't forget. Because I'd be like measuring it and be like, fuck, what was that measurement? <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, no, I, I was shocked because he was like, oh, yeah, you're one of my best workers. I'm like, me, the ADHD dude that's been on Adderall for, well, hasn't been on Adderall for the past couple of years. I'm the best worker. <laughs> You'd be surprised, bro. Kids, like people with ADHD, like me, I guess why I run the kitchen because my mind is so it works so much better when there's chaos, and the kitchen is always fucking chaos. Yeah. So I'm I'm easy to be like, oh yeah, cool. Look up over here. Look over here. Look over there. All right, cool. I can start this and this and this and this and this and this and finish off at the same time. And everyone's like, how? I don't know. I got it done though. Bro, I definitely want to work in the kitchen with you for a day. See how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you the same thing I tell all my employees. Okay. It's not like working with, you know, anybody else. I'm not going Ramsey. I'm not going to cuss at you. I'm going to work around you. All right. I had a manager that was just like that when I got my first job. And boy, did that end up working. You say what? 
I said, uh, I, I worked with a guy that had a similar aspect. Like, he won't call you stupid, but you'll find out your repercussions later. Yep. And they get mad at me because I'll just cut your hours. I'm not going to sit here, argue, fuss, and fight with you. You're not going to yell at me. I ain't no type of bitch. You're not going to talk to me crazy. And if you decide to do so, that's fine. I control your paycheck. <laughs> You're just not going to get one. Yeah, no. I you know what I'm saying? Like, I have one female in the kitchen. And it's not necessarily because I don't want females. It's because no female wants to work in the fucking kitchen. It's the kitchen. It's dirty. It's grimy. It's hot. Yeah. You got to work back here. You don't get to come back here and be prissy and shit like that. Nope. You got to come back here, get your muff, put your motherfucking hair up, you wash your motherfucking hands, wear gloves. If you can't cut, I'm going to teach you how to cut because I see you fucking look like cucumbers. Come here. Stop what you're doing and come here. <laughs> yeah. They look at me like I'm crazy sometimes. Like, hey, stop. Come here. Yeah. And when I was. What's up, bro? Yeah. You see this right here? Don't do that shit anymore. You know, because when I worked for the theater, we had a bar in the kitchen. So uh, they wanted to make me a cook because they knew I knew what I was doing before I was even trained. So they were like, oh gonna have this kid but they they couldn't hire me on the like get me in there on the age technicality because like because we use this and you're not fully 18 i'm like okay but uh i was like moving cakes and crap for them in the bar and whatnot and there was days that managers just wouldn't even cook the meals that they were supposed to for the customers so i would just get in there and do it and they say jack crap you talk about driving me crazy bro that's this is what they do best what they do best. Yeah. That's the thing about kitchens that you'll have motherfuckers that would drive you crazy. Because I worked for uh, that burger joint after I left the theater for like a month. But I left yeah. because I worked with a bunch of teenagers from my high school. And all of them were ignorant and always complaining that they had to do the job. And then they kept hiring new people that were always high or couldn't do anything other than fryer. Or couldn't even work the pizza oven or nothing. So I was like over here like, okay. So... These dudes in this kitchen will call this girl a bitch. Yeah, no, there's this one kid. can't lift 80 uh, pound fucking pot of grease. Yeah. No, there was this one kid that freaking hated me because he was like, you're, why don't you do this? Why don't you do this? I'm like, dude, I have ADHD and I'm covering everyone else's asses over here. And you're over here bitching at me like, what the fuck? Yeah, I know you ain't talking because it was like so tempting to strap my freaking steel toed boot from his face to the grill because I'm like, dude, you can't do shit. If you if you going down, because <laughs> this kid did nothing but kind and bitch and cuss at me, because he was like, "You need to do this. You need to do this." I'm like, "Dude, I'm doing everything else on the planet. Relax. Leave me alone, pussy." Yeah, for real. For so for everyone's safety and for the sake of my own health, because I was coughing up blood at the time, I just left because I was like, "This job is not it. <laughs> not with these people." Yeah, after that. After that. Yep, yep, yep. My ADHD is kicking up in a wash dishes. Um, and his cat, bro, why are you on the floor? Cats why just you roaming never around for real, bro. You don't own the cat, the cat owns you. Hmm. Nah, he knows better. He kind of operates like a dog sometimes. <laughs> I don't know why. Like, he listens when I say, come here, he'll come here. Come here. And this sounds yeah, good. It's the strangest thing in the world. Mm -hmm. That means you got a best friend. Yeah, like, walk right up to me, bro. I didn't actually mean for him to become my best friend because he's the best friend of my daughter. But they don't tend to get along all the time. <laughs> because she's a two year old and she'll grab this man by the neck. <laughs> he'll be like, what the hell? <laughs> it sounds about right. My five year old brother, he'll still grab our cap. About a freaking neck, and she freaks the fuck out. And he's like, "Why'd she scratch me?" I was like, "I told you not to do that." It's a cat. Yeah, but he's never tried to scratch me or nothing like that. He keeps doing that shit to her. Yeah, that's always the children. No, don't do it's always the young ones they have blood, they have beef with. It's really strange because I do not like being watched the way this cat watches me. 
This man will sit in the living room and stare at me in the kitchen. Just fucking stare, bro. What are you looking at? What are you doing? Turn the head sideways with the jet. What the hell are you doing? In the kitchen? What are you working? Yeah. I ain't got nothing else to add, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, back to the, like, the work topic. Yeah, though, like, if you come to me, whatever, call me whatever, I'll probably just laugh it off because I'm a, like, really easygoing guy. Like, once again, I got ADHD, so it'll trigger sometimes if I'm, like, trying to balance a bunch of stuff. If they're like, yo, come over here and fix this or clean that or make this. And I'm like, ah, got to focus on which one's more important first. And then I'll, I'll get to, like, the second task and be like, what was the last one? Fuck. Not right. Just, I'll be running around. Don't write it down. I'm not going to remember. You need to tell me. You guys tell me shit. Oh, I need to be off this day. It doesn't matter to me what you told me. If you didn't write it down, it's not real. Yep. I'm not going to remember. A lot of shit on my mind, dude. By accident. I don't even fucking want to think about the shit I think about. It just stays there. All right. I can't tell you how often that happened if there was like a keg or an alcohol that didn't get hooked up. They're like, yo, why isn't this hooked up? I'm like, dude, you guys told me to do a million things. I can only do so many before I get freaking confused. I'm going to forget all the shit you guys told me because you guys told me at the same fucking time. And I just, I hooked the keg up to the alcohol line because you fucking mentioned keg and alcohol. I didn't fucking right. know. So now you now your beer's coming out of sweet and sour. My <laughs> bad. I told you to stop calling me. <laughs> That's pretty much how it went. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because you no, know, too many questions. We should definitely like once we get all our shit sorted. Like we should all just me, you, Panda, Ace, uh, Sid. We should all just sit here and talk around like about different film projects we're working on and shit that we want to get accomplished. I'm not even sure Sid's working on anything film related. I'm pretty sure Sid is still doing uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Oh, snap. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, because he posted something about it the other day. Well, more like a week ago, but it feels like the other day. Right. <laughs> and you know, it's Instagram. The algorithm probably told you six days late and shit. Yep. But yeah, no, I'm definitely going to sort out this PC thing and then do what you said. Try to get back into streaming because. Panda's over here doing the same crap. She's trying to outdo me. Oh my, I can't have that. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't know. No, no, no. I started this shit. Y'all not finna fucking make me look like I don't, like I'm not committed. It's not that I'm not committed. I just got shit to do. <laughs> like, bitch, this ain't turf takeover. Because, <laughs> you know, I was talking to uh, my wife about it. You know? She was like, you know, your, your streaming thing really took off pretty early. I said, yeah, but that's fucking Brawlhalla. I have ADHD. I cannot play Brawlhalla every fucking day. And I can't do it. I can't do it. It was nice. You know what I'm saying? It was fun. We could have a brawl night or whatever the case may be. But I didn't have my PlayStation no more. Because I didn't want them. I wasn't playing that bitch. I was at work. So I sold that bitch to get the capital for the house. Fuck like that. Yeah. I mean, it's like you said, we work with the chaos, and I feel like that's probably why I like doing all the group session games a lot, because then it was yeah. chaos. There's people screaming at each other, it was fun, it was hilarious, there was always content. And was Dang, like, my son's favorite clip is fucking Among Us when y'all killed me and I was innocent. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, why did they do that? I was like, because they don't listen. They don't listen to me. I had a vitriol reaction. I brought I wasn't even, I remember all of that shit. I wasn't even there, bro. Niggas killed me. Everybody killed me. He was like, wow. I said, yeah, this game is deceptive. They got all their asses. Because he knew I was going to be one motherfucker to catch his ass. But he got me out of there. Yep, yep, yep. You know, we definitely got to bring friends are fun. Yeah, yeah I play with my friends. We got to bring back that and the group session stuff. We still never got to play Escape. Oh, yeah, we never did, did we? I still got it, though. I still, so do I. You know, Panda got it, and she's like, when are we doing it? I'm like, I wish I knew. <laughs> but, yeah. Sorry for the noise. Shit just falling out of the cabinets. Yeah, we should totally, if if we all get our life together, I mean, Panda's slowly figuring out her. She's slowly catching up on the train that I'm on of 
get the hell out of Missouri. <laughs> yeah, that independence life. Yeah, independence is great. But, uh, freaking, <clears throat> we should just see how me, you, Sid, maybe some of the other group members, maybe Ace if he's interested. Then we can all just do something. What's with side? Have we is side better now? Is he okay? Um. Oh, speaking of side, something crazy happened. So you know, you know how he's like doing football and whatnot. Yeah. So he, this is his freshman year of high school, and my boy, he's practically he like missed my, missed no, 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 no. That he, listen to this. So he's practically like a younger brother than me because I've known him for a good majority of my life. But uh, this kid was practicing or something and then I don't know what the hell happened but I think someone went to tackle him but then he got hit the edge of his eye onto this, like something metal and he almost lost vision in his left eye like it was damaged his corneas so he couldn't like see anything like anything that was really bright would hurt his freaking eyes so he had to go to the doctors immediately and so he was over here like he was yeah, I can't really use it because luckily they f put a lens in it, but that's to keep it from like deteriorating anymore. So he was like, so I just got to have this on for a couple days and I go back to school in a few days. And I was like, okay, just take it easy. So he fucked his face up, bro. God damn. Yep. Mm -hmm. I was over here like, dude, take it easy. Because I was like checking up on him for like three days straight. I'm like, you, I'm like, you. Eating, you drinking, you doing this shit, and he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, me, me and him just played some video games the other night, and he was over here like, okay, like, good, because he was over here, here like, yeah, no, it sucks the first two days because he was like, I couldn't see anything, everything would hurt my eye, like, so he's like, so I just slept the entire day and. He's like, the doctors told me I can't use headphones or anything, so I just had to blast music through a speaker instead of headphones. So. Why? Um, I think it has something to do with, like, I don't know. I can't remember re the, the specific reason why, but I think it was because, like, how damaged, like, the part of his face was that got hit. I, I can't um, remember the specifics, but it was something weird. I asked the same thing, and he told me the same thing. <laughs> so, that's that's crazy. crazy. Yeah, no. Poor kid. I was like, yeah, just take it easy on yourself, man. Don't need you dying playing football, literally. <laughs> like That's literally what happens in football. Like, I'm not even sure how big side is, but it seems as if he's a rather small guy. You can't be small to play football. It doesn't usually work out too well for you. Yeah. Because he's over here asking me for workouts and stuff. I was like, first of all, don't use any like, weightlifting or machines so you don't mess up your muscle development. Because... That's why they recommend. Too young. That. Yep. So I was like, oh, this this kid, dude, and worries me sometimes because he he be dealing with some of the worst crap. He gets dealt some of the worst hands in life, and he's over here like, yo, what should I do? So I just, I do my best to help him. <laughs> and usually, sometimes shit, bro. Like, you gotta get him the fuck up. Find something else. If you lost your vision, do not play with the football guy. They're telling you something already. Stop playing football. <laughs> That's what I'm it don't, We don't hit no higher in the rest of your life. Yeah, if your freaking eyeball almost pops out of your socket while playing a game, don't play it. <laughs> right. Now, that would have been a game. See, I'd be like, yep, I'm going to baseball. <laughs> do something different, bro. <laughs> Yeah, no, he was asking about uh, group stuff the other day. He was like, he was like, does Gojack play Fortnite? And I was like, sometimes. Oh, yeah, I'd be on Fortnite. Um, it's just, when I get on Fortnite, I play like two or three rounds and hop off because I got shit to do. <laughs> That's really how it goes. I'll probably find something. To, I'll probably play tomorrow afternoon. Or whatever, and then I frequently play after work when the kid and the wife goes to bed. I hop on the six for like an hour or whatever, play a couple of rounds, try and catch a dub, get killed, get pissed off. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's really how it goes. In the life of an ADHD person, some do. <laughs> it's, it's gotta be. It's gotta be done. 
You know, my dad's over here still playing like shooters and crap. He's like, man, I don't like this new Call of Duty. I was like, so why are you still playing it? And he's like, because it's the only thing I can really play right now. It's, th- it's taking up space. I was like, dude, just need to not use PlayStation and use a computer, but I do. Right. <laughs> so now I got to go. Um, my wife just landed in San Diego, and she's going to call me in two minutes. All right. Okay. Well, I'll do that. Okay. Well, please. All right. So this was Talking Noise. As we saw my boy Kojak, we talked a lot. Finally got a good episode in. I pray to God that there's nothing wrong with the editing, audio, nothing, or else I'm just going to freaking throw my phone or whatever I'm using to record currently out my window because right now I am using a uh, recorder through my laptop. And usually my laptop likes to have issues, but right now it's not having any. So, <sighs> yeah, we doing all right today. Yep. I'm also not driving. I'm not across the fucking country. I'm at the house with stable Wi-Fi connection, so that probably helps. Yeah. Well, so another time, Kojak, and Jack, and my brother. Yeah, we will. We will talk soon, my man. Good luck on your projects, and uh, I should have a preview for y'all. In a couple of weeks for the project that I'm doing now. You heard the man. Well, 